In this video, I'd like to talk about finding the amplitude of sinusoidal functions when we are given a picture of the graph. And before we look at this specific problem, let's remind ourselves of what the definition of amplitude, midline, and period actually is by looking at a picture. And we can see that the midline is the horizontal line that splits the sinusoidal function in half, where the amplitude is the distance from the midline to the maximum point, or it's the distance from the midline to the minimum point. And the period, which we won't need here, is the distance that the curve travels before it starts repeating. Essentially notice that in these sinusoidal functions, you will have a section of the curve that doesn't duplicate itself, but after that, it will start repeating, going through the same y values, and this period repeats infinitely many times. Now for this problem, we are given a sinusoidal function, and we're told the midline is intersected at this point, and the function also has a maximum point at this coordinate here. And knowing where our curve intersects this midline allows us to determine the equation of the midline since it would have the same y value as this intersection point. The equation of the midline would be 3.3 for the y value. And since we know the y value of our maximum point and we know that the amplitude is just the distance from that maximum point to the midline, we can figure out this amplitude. It's just the difference between the y value at the maximum and the y value at the midline. We can take this 9.8, the maximum value, and subtract the value of the midline. And when we do that, we would get 6.5, meaning that this is the amplitude of our sinusoidal function. And we can roughly check this by looking at a minimum point. If we take our amplitude and we subtract it from this midline value, then we can roughly approximate what the minimum value should be here and visually confirm if this amplitude of 6.5 actually makes sense. So we will take the midline value of 3.3 and we will subtract the amplitude and this should give us this y value here and Carrying out this difference, we find that the minimum value should be at minus 3.2. And this point looks to be roughly at minus 3.2. So this does confirm that this amplitude of 6.5 actually makes sense.